Takes it back to Matias Eckholm. Productive year points wise for him. Got it from Evan Bouchard. Eckholm a shot. Carrots! Hold the rebound! Set wide twice! That was a funny bounce coming off of Skinner's shoulder. He looks like he's got to fix his helmet too right now. He's got a glove on. And David goes spinning. Shoveled it across. There's go! Great transition by Edmonton. There was a good chance by LA at the other end of the ice. And then you can see they do have numbers back, and it's just getting inside. Connor McDavid, who else? He gets it set up. What a good spin around, but we've seen him do that before. By Arvidsson, who's in a comfortable spot for him on a line with Trevor Moore, the 31 goal scorer this year, career high in the team leader, and Phil Deneau now maneuvering and a shot whistled high and wide from McDavid. Picked up by Hyman, moves it along, Henry floats it up, scores! What a start for the Oilers! Team with a goal and a primary assist on this. Here's the entry point for the Edmonton Oilers. They do a good job of pushing the Kings back. They've got a ton of speed and they're using it tonight. Great pass, you look at, uh, uh, it was Zach Hyman gets that puck up top. He, as I mentioned, scored the first goal. Good seam pass over to Adam Henry. And how about that short side shot? By the Oilers out the center with Hyman, just out of the reach of Henry on the entry. McDavid spinning away. McDavid feeding, score! Hyman second. the puck away and getting this game within one instead the puck comes down the other end and look at Connor McDavid he draws everybody to that far side on his forehand he's a left shot draws everybody to that side of the net and then he's able to spin around there's Bouchard for Nugent Hopkins with a shot turned aside McDavid retrieves it back to the line for Bouchard McDavid calling for it McDavid surveys gets it low to dry sidle net front score This is what he wants to see from his team. He wants to see them continuing to press. Great job moving around, getting shots, not shying away from taking the shot, but then getting the puck back. And Connor McDavid, you see the way he plays. He's sometimes low, he's sometimes high. He gets another assist here. He gets it down to Leon Dreisaitl. Perfect pass across. Ryan Nugent Hopkins makes no mistake. Acquisition last year at the deadline, he really stabilized their whole decor. And Bouchard was able to truly flourish with him as a partner. To know for Arvidsson, a shot kicked out by Skinner. Anderson for Dowdy along the line. Anderson fires one on, they score! Anderson with a blast from the point with traffic in front, and the Kings are on the board. It's here, but man, this building is so quiet. I wasn't even sure that shot went in. A good shot by Skinner. Good work by the Kings. We talked about simplifying. That's what they have to do. And traffic. Get traffic in front. And it's Trevor Moore in this situation, number 12. He's the key to this goal. He gets in front that you're able to play. I mean, right now they've got a 4-1 win, a uh, lead rather, but they've got to be able to have patience, be able to be okay with a low scoring game. Grunstrom out high, threw it towards Skinner. They score! With Lewis in front, flung to the net. And it's a two-goal deficit now for the Kings. Look by Trevor Lewis. And see, Knobloch is probably going to take a look at his tablet on the bench to see if he wants to challenge us. There was a the stick in the air. And it's accidental. They'll allow it. The Islanders go up 3 nothing, and then a bit of a collapse in Carolina, but it'll be interesting to see. Kempe threw this one toward the net and they score. Kopitar was back door and Adrian Kempe put it toward the net and the Kings cut it to two. Adrian Kempe has had a couple opportunities in close. 
here tonight and another one here and this one makes it count. He's just putting the puck in and it goes off a skate. So it's one of those plays. It's broken. It's not necessarily. I actually think Kepe is trying to make a pass here, but he gets lucky. It goes off or maybe it is a stick there. Maybe it is by going to end up being Byfield's goal, but. Moved along for dry side at the wall with Hyman parked in front. McDavid circling in behind. Picks it up, gaining steam, carries out to the slot, gets it back from Bouchard. Here's McDavid. Dry side snipes and scores! And hands offense on the power play. 5 2. The play will not stop. Great job. Connor McDavid slowed it down even to re enter the zone. You've got to keep your eyes on 97, but you look at number 29. Look where he is. His right skate was almost on the goal line. That's how low he was. The goal line extended. And he gets that perfectly placed. He has about maybe double the puck's width. That's what you've got to do. You look at the belly button, the chest area of a player. You don't let that part of him by. Doesn't matter where his stick, where his head, any of that deceptiveness goes. It's been a great season for Dowdy, the 34 year old. McDavid, back, back door, score! Hyman's got a hat trick in game one. On this stage. And Connor McDavid's never had five points in a playoff game either. Here's a look at it. They can't win this faceoff. They're not able to get the puck back. Edmonton does really well. They get the puck, they retrieve it, they beat them. It's just a foot race to get to the puck, and then they're able to set up and then to stay with their process, to stay with trying to get through it and trying to navigate that to get through. Here's Dubois moving in on the entry without numbers, with a shot kicked in by Nurse. So Dubois will get a goal. And that trims it to 6-3 with 3.04 to go. A good feeling own goal off your skate, obviously and unintentional, but P.L. Dubois comes in, just puts it. He's actually trying to shoot. There's a double deflection. He's trying to shoot that puck on net. It goes off one defense in and then over off of the outside edge of Darnell Nurse. It, it just squeaks into their regular season Nashville. We, we had last night up in Vancouver, but it, 12 of the 16 could legitimately be contenders. The very air for Moore, who scores! And now it's 6-4, with 1-11 to go, and the Kings will not go quietly. Of that could not have been worse for the Edmonton Oilers. Face-off win, Cody Ceci goes to make a pass, breaks it, and then he tries to make a pass. And back on it, Fiala. Fiala has his stick break. Just in the way Cody Cece's did. Fire toward the net. Score! Warren Fogle, the empty netter, to make it 7 4. It's a little flash of hope there for the LA Kings. They get within two, and after sort of a sleepy first third, uh, first pit of the third period, then they just weren't able to corral the puck. They weren't able to get control. Picked up in the slot. Floated out, and that will do it for game one. The Oilers win it 7-4, starting out this series against the Kings.